Okay, so this is uh, Payne's gray, a bit of uh, cerulean blue and white. And we're going to do the windows before we put the frame. I use the serenian blue instead of serenian blue. I can use the ultramarine or yeah, sure. Because I don't have serenian blue. You don't have serenian blue. That's okay. Just ultramarine will do. Just add. I have it. cobalt blue and ultramarine. Both I have. You have ultramarine and cobalt blue, right? Yeah. Any, uh, uh, um, I would say ultramarine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The indigo needs some a uh, little bit of white inside. Inside? Yeah, I mean in the in the in the indigo needs white. It's too dark otherwise. Oh yes, yes, with indigo. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to darken this window here a bit, right here. <clears throat> I'm darkening it with using uh, Payne's Gray. Now, I think this is not a window right here. It's a door. It goes all the way down. But you know what? We're going to keep it as a window. Um, I am going to keep it as a window, just less work. I'm using a small, um, small brush.
Uh, makes a big a big difference putting uh, glass color on the window. Okay, now I'm switching to a round brush. Do the same here. I'm going to do the same for the windows up, keep everything the same. <coughs> we can um, paint the whole window and then add the um, window slats. Um, I think I'm probably add them, put the window slats with, it, try, try. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'll try to use uh, watercolor pencil crayons and see if we can do that because it's easier. I mean, it's just a suggestion. We shouldn't, it shouldn't be perfect. Oh, I love that. That looks good. This changes the the way the whole thing looks. There. Okay, now I'm going to add white to my blue, especially for the window, actually more so for the windows up here um, because the light hits this part. Now, part of this window up here is dark. So I'm going to keep everything dark 
the panes up, window panes up there. I'm going to keep them dark. And then I'm going to highlight from here down. And really, it doesn't have to look perfectly clean. There. Okay, one more. Again, so part of this window down here is dark. So from from the second window pane. There. I'm just going to put blue over this one here, and then I'll put whatever um, detail I'm going to put over this one here, uh, those windows. Um, they're not really important. Uh, flowers are going to go over some of these windows, so... So this is sap green, ivory black, and a and white. Let's see, where is that door? So this door on the left is open. And if it's open, then that means we should be seeing should be seeing the um, glass window. We'll put that over. Okay. This uh, frame goes all around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lael, is that the same frame that we earlier painted for its yes. Vincienne? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Like so we're just going over it then. Yes, yes. So I'm painting over the whole thing right now and I'll do, if I need to put details and highlights, I'll put them after. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just actually uh, painting the, uh, the black and the frame. And any detail I wanna put highlights or detail or I'll do it after. This is too much, uh, too many details in here. So we should simplify all that. Okay. So when I know that it, um, I need a darker frame, I'm, I'm adding a tiny bit more of the, uh, a, a bit more black, because I know I need a darker frame here because of the, it's, it's, um, it's not a, a light area. There's a, a lot of shadows in here. Sap green, ivory black, and white. And sap green. Yeah. Ivory black and sap green. So what I'm doing to make it darker, my my color, my green, I'm just adding more, more black. And then this way I can highlight whenever I need Show some highlights. Okay, good. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm going to add a tiny bit of white in here. And I'm going to start highlighting the main dot. Okay, I'm going to highlight here. I'm leaving a bit of dark in between, so that gives that looks like. A, so I highlighted this part, and then I left a bit of dark, and then I highlighted another part. No. Um, I can't really see what's happening in there, but uh, because there's a, a and, and this is what's with us, the same thing, it's gonna happen. We're gonna have a, we're going to have the uh, plants. So and again, I'm leaving a bit of dark in between. Your, your, your first layer was just sap green and black? Sap green and black and white. Oh, and white, yeah. That's dark. Well, sap green and black is very dark. Yeah. And, it's on, it, and it's on black, so it's like going to be black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's why that's why it's 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 a good idea to add a bit of white. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, <coughs> did you highlight um, the sides of the door too? I wasn't watching. This, this, this. I, I, I put my head up when you were uh, highlighting that square at the bottom of the door. Well, yes. But so I was, I'm wondering if you highlighted the top, the uh, sides of the door too. Did you? There. Yes. This. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I kept. I, I, I tried to keep a, a, a tiny bit of a dark, uh, green in between. But I can see right now that I need to uh, go back and uh, kind of put it properly in because you can you can hardly see it because this is this is the frame and that's and that's right and that's the door right. so between the frame and the door there's um, there's some it, it's not one one unit right yeah so that's uh, I was trying to keep that to show this by leaving the dark that I, the dark green that I used initially, but um, it needs, it needs a bit of touching up. Okay. 
it's not enough. Yeah, but today you send the picture today because we have our drawing and your drawing is lots of different now. Yes. So you can send us a picture of these things because yes, I will. I will. Yeah, your thing to do. Yeah, it's the best. Yes, yeah, best to send you the picture. Did you sorry did you put green on the window um uh, panel like in the, across the wood across the, the panels i can't really test this one here on the, on the windows on the side did you paint that hole where the you know the the, the side windows not the door oh here here, here. Yeah. that painted dark green too yes yeah yes. okay it's hard for i can't see it that well so yeah okay. yeah it is it is painted dark green okay Perfect. Now I'm uh, now I'm adding a bit of white to my dark green, and I'm going to start highlighting, uh, especially from here down, right there. You have nice straight strokes when you go down. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, sorry. The oh, straight strokes. Yeah, the strokes yeah. are that. Right. I find them a challenge if I go down that way, so I have to go sideways usually. Uh, that's because I paint every day. Yeah, I know. Mm. You know what I did, Liao? What? I did. I did the. The, the ground, the, the, the floor, not the floor, but the stones in front of the, the pub. Here? Yes. Oh, <laughs> nice. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to opinion on it too. Because um, this is challenging. Mm -hmm. It is. I bought it, did I use all the covers that I had? From the grays, from all the the one that I had on top of uh, the building, the the facade, the upper facade of the building, mm -hmm. of those colors in there, a little bit of brown. Uh, wow. I, okay. One once I stop uh, recording, yeah, yeah. let me see it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I no, it's okay. No, no problem. I would like to see that. I'm getting uh, I'm getting really uh, bored of those already the uh, window slats window frame it's amazing how when you do something repetitive same thing yeah yeah it's a, it's a bit boring <clears throat> okay. okay. The feeling I need to um, adjust this part. It's not right. All of this needs to be adjusted. So what I'm going to do, the best thing to do is to actually cover it and then work on it properly after when it's dry. Or just, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make it straight. Just a, no slats, no little ones here. So the, see those the six panels here? Yeah, why uh, not we do the glass only there? Yeah, one, one, one glass. That's what I'm like, one panel. Yeah. Just it's the it's too small to do the, the, the detail like that. So now what I'm going to do is actually put A highlight right here and that's the side of the door because this door is open so you see okay
Good. Okay. So this is, again, I'm going to repeat on, you know, uh, recording this. This is not the right color. What you see on the monitor is way too strong. It's not like this here. Um, once I do the, once I scan it to email it to you, you'll see the right color. So what I'm using here is cadmium red light. Actually, I can use maybe cadmium red medium and it'd be better. It won't be that orangey. Let's try that. And uh, add cadmium red medium to my cadmium red light. And let's see. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so cadmium red medium. I'm mixing it with cadmium, a bit of cadmium red light. Uh, you really don't have to, whatever colors you have, if you have cadmium red light and you don't have cadmium red medium, just add a bit of, uh, I, I added a bit of burnt sienna or burnt umber to tone it down. Um, but a combination of uh, cadmium red medium and cadmium red light will work. I'm leaving shadows underneath here. I'm, I'm leaving a bit of dark where the, the, the flowers are going to be. So I'm not gonna take my highlight all the way up. I leave a bit of dark underneath here. Same thing, you can take the same color, cadmium red medium, touch of cadmium red light in it. And, okay, and come here. See, it's already drawing darker. Now I'm gonna go up and leave a bit of shadow. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'll show you in a minute. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the shadow right there. I'm going to leave the original color that I have and then highlight the rest. And if I, by the time it's dry, if the color is too strong, um, I can glaze it and tone it down. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather have um, a strong color and then adjust it.
I think by the time we put the flowers and stuff like that, it should be okay. I'm gonna darken my cadmium um, red medium with a bit of burnt umber. And I'm going to come here and then add a bit of that color because it looks disconnected right now. Not everywhere because uh, just a bit here. See, it's a drying, it's already drying darker. Um, I'm I'm have to adjust the highlights. Wow, it looks orangey in that. 